Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. Do you log all the events or prefer to choose a few of them in SSIS package? So when it comes to this question, they want to know, do you know the best practices for login? So if you are uh, not well aware of the login in SSIS, so SSIS uh, login is a runtime information for a package that we log to some SQL server table or text file or XML file or other uh, uh, destinations. In this case, uh, what I have done here in this package, uh, I have enabled login uh, for SQL server table and uh, I have execute tables, uh, I have package and I have data flow. I have only one data flow here. So I'm entering uh, all the uh, information uh, for all the events on, on all events. So on package level, I'm using uh, all the events uh, and I'm entering the information to log table and data flow, the same thing I'm doing here. So that's the very first thing. They want to understand your concept, your experience uh, about the login and best practices. So let's take a detailed look uh, and what we find. Right now, we don't have any record in this uh, uh, log table. Go back to SSIS package and run it. Stop the package and go to the table again. Run it. Now what we see here, we have 899 records just for one data flow. So what is the what is the wrong here? There is nothing wrong here because we are putting 900 records. But think about that. If you have 10 data flow tasks and you will be putting 9000 records in the table for one execution. And every time you are executing your package, you are putting 9000 records. And let's assume that your package is only loading maybe 1000 records. So you are wasting the resources. You are making your data loading process slow by putting every event in this table. So what is the best practice? You do not want to click on all events. You never want to do that. Not here. You don't want to click here because by putting that all event information for each of the executable or container, you are loading your or um, loading your pa uh, table, the log table, or uh, you are writing to the text file with a lot of uh, unwanted information. You don't need that information. So you want to come back and study the description uh, of all these events uh, and say w which are important for you. If error happen, which uh, uh, event uh, or the description uh, uh, or e event description uh, will help on which event let's say I want to be on uh, failure on error that's most important if error happen I want to know about that so those information uh, you want to put or those events you want to log in the uh, log table or file you do not want to click here and uh, just uh, log all the information uh, on uh, different events uh, to the log table when it comes to the best practices and uh, these uh, uh, log tables you are running uh, maybe 100 packages and st still even you put a uh, very minimum information that you need uh, this table is going to grow huge so best is uh, you you want to delete the old records so keep your database where this table is uh, in the simple recovery mode and uh, keep deleting the old records and maybe keep just for seven days but just keep it in simple recovery mode when you're deleting a lot of records uh, so you do your transaction log would not fill that's the reason and uh, I, I recommend that have a, a separate database for your uh, login SSIS login and configuration and uh, for your customer maybe uh, login and uh, other uh, framework tables you create for SSIS so it's better like having a separate uh, database and that you can use for just SSIS thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video